everybody. If you love to read, then follow my lead. It's S T O R Y T I M E. Story time with S A N D I. Story time, Sandy. Hmm. Oh, hi there, little readers. I was just looking at all of the books on my bookshelf. I love them all. Do you want to read one of these books? No? You want to wake up midnight so he can find us a story to read? Of course, what was I thinking? Okay, ready? I don't know where he is right now, but I'm sure if we say the magic words, he'll come right out and wake up. Ready? One, two, three. Sleep free midnight, please wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. I said, sleepy midnight, please wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. Say it with me, sleepy midnight, please wake up fast. We'd like to read a story from the past. <laughs> It's called Anemone Finds Adventure. And it was written by Jessica Bosworth Smith, Matthew Griffiths, and Lauren Nell. Anemone lived in the ocean. All day long, she clung to the same slippery rock with her single big foot. Her tiny tentacles caught tasty treats. See, there's her tentacles. Isn't she cute? On days when she felt cross, her stinging tentacles kept the other creatures away. Oh boy, she doesn't look very happy, does she? And see, these stinging tentacles keep all of those other fish away from her. But today, her rock felt lonely. Wow, look at all these sea creatures. We have some black fish and a jellyfish. Oh look, that's an eel. <gasps> and a little orange fish and a crab. A black sea urchin, a starfish. <gasps> Some coral, an octopus. Hmm. <gasps> and a blue fish. And look, there's an enemy on her rock. I wonder why she feels lonely with so many sea creatures around. I have no fins. I have no feet. I am different to every other creature. Even that hermit crab is off having adventures. Save me! That fish wants to pluck me out of my shell! Oh no! That hermit crab is running away from this fish with big teeth. <gasps> Do you think Anemone will save him? Anemone whipped up her stinging tentacles and hid the hermit underneath them. Go away, you big bully! Anemone shouted, and the big fish bared his teeth but was afraid of being stung. He gave up and swam away with a cheeky flick of his tail. That was close, said the crab. Is it safe now? You can come out, crab. What's your name? Hermit. I'm a hermit, but I think I need a bodyguard. I wish I was as brave as you. I'm an anemone. I wish I had amazing adventures like you. But why don't you? He asked. I'm stuck to my rock, and I don't have any legs, she replied. Well, I don't have stings, but I do have an idea. Herman took Anemone by the tentacle and danced around her, pulling silly faces. First Anemone snorted, and then she giggled, <laughs> and then she laughed so hard she popped right off her rock. <gasps> Gee, look, she's no longer stuck on the rock. 
Herman gently picked her up and settled her on his shelf. Are you ready? I feel an adventure coming on, he said. Anemone will be so excited to go on an adventure, don't you think? Anemone adventures all over the ocean, catching tasty treats. Mmm! Now she only uses her stinging tentacles to keep the nasty fish away from Herman. But not all fish are nasty. She's made some friends along the way, like these fish, and this octopus, and these turtles. That one was a nasty fish. But not to fear, she kept Herman mighty safe. And she never, ever feels lonely. The end. The story's all done. I hope you had fun with S-T-O-R-Y-T-I-M-E Storytime with S-A-N-D-I Storytime Sandy. Midnight and I sure do love reading with all of you. <gasps> you know what else we would love to read? A special secret message written just by you. So grab a grown-up and ask them to help you write a message for us down below. And hey, before you go, let's read another story together. All you have to do is click that box right there. Let's go! Well, aren't you coming? Come on, click the box and I'll see you in the next story.